Christmas can be a hard time for families in need, and this year's Johnson County's Christmas Bureau needs your help to assist them. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield breaks down exactly what they need. Doors open here for the very first time of the season tomorrow with the very first appointment at 9 o'clock. But because of the low donations, some families might not be able to take as many canned vegetable goods as before. So we have turkeys. With volunteers and packing and preparing. And then we have chicken. It's the final push before 12,000 people shop for all of their needs, from hats to coats. If it's not keeping them warm, it will keep their child warm. Deodorants and toothpaste. All of this is available to the clients for free. A lot of these families are facing hard choices. Do I buy food for the dinner table tonight? Do I buy a winter coat for my child? Do I get the car fixed so I can go to work? Many of them can't even afford one of those options, better yet all of them. So we try to give a little relief during the holiday season. But this year, the Johnson County Christmas Bureau is in need of relief itself. We have half of what we normally would need. So we're, we're down about uh, 2,500 cans of peas and about 3,000 cans of tomato product from what we had last year. The reason? Donation from school drives were low. We think that's because a lot of the families with children in school need themselves and can't afford to give as much in the past. It's why last minute cans, like the peas Julie Fisk and her children dropped off, matter so much. I know feeding my kids is the most important thing to me and if I had trouble doing that to have someone be generous enough to think of me and share with me would mean the world to me. If you'd like to help you can bring your donations to the old Sears near 95th and Metcalf between 10 and 6 o'clock. We have more information on our website KSHB.com reporting in Johnson County Ariel Rothfield 41 Action News.